Why are landings 10 times harder if you cross the threshold and you're too fast? Your instructor has probably told you this a hundred times, but today I'm gonna explain why that is. Now the other day, in my video on 10 tips that will improve your landings, you probably saw me force my father-in-law, Mike, to make a fast landing. And even though he's a skilled pilot, it didn't end the greatest. Then later in the video, I made this statement. I personally believe that airspeed deteriorates exponentially whenever it starts deteriorating. So, and so you have to be very gentle on the controls at first, but then you have to swap them. At the time, based on my experience, I really believe this statement to be true. But after a little bit of research, I'm more convinced now than ever that it's a fact. And here's why. I'm not going to pretend to be a physicist or anything like that. But based on everything I've read, when an object decelerates, the speed typically deteriorates at a linear rate. That basically means that the rate at which something slows down up here at this speed is the same rate that it slows down down here at this speed. But when you're dealing with aerodynamics and flying an airplane, there's another factor at play here. At some point during your flight training, you may have seen this chart, which depicts the total drag that acts on an airplane during various airspeeds. As you can see here, we have two types of drag that concern us, parasite drag and induced drag. Parasite drag is basically what you get when you stick your hand out of the window of a moving car. The wind rips your hand back. At low air speeds, it's not that big of a deal. But as we get faster, the wind wants to grab your hand and rip it right off. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? I've heard worse. But the real culprit here is induced drag. This is simply the drag that's created as a byproduct of lift. As you can see from this chart, induced drag increases exponentially as the aircraft slows down. Because of that, the deceleration of an airplane is no longer linear. The airplane actually slows faster and faster at these lower air speeds. So here's the problem and why this makes things difficult if you're fast when you cross the threshold. When you first cross the threshold, if you're fast, you have to be very gentle on the controls because your flight controls have more control authority from all that extra relative wind that they're getting. But as the airspeed deteriorates, it does so almost exponentially. This means that you have to go from making really gentle control inputs on the yoke to making aggressive control inputs really quickly. But even if you know that you need to swap the controls, as I like to say, where exactly in this airspeed range do you need to do that? Well, the truth is that this kind of thing comes with experience, and the best way to get that experience is to land at the correct airspeed every time. This is going to build up your muscle memory, and if you do happen to land fast and you've developed that feel for what you need to do with the controls, you're going to know instinctively where you need to make that change. So what's the moral of the story? Don't land fast. You make things 10 times harder on yourself by doing that. But if you do, now you've got a little bit of knowledge to help yourself out and make those landings better. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video right here is the one where I talk about 10 tips that are going to improve your landings. I'll see you over there. See ya. Approach, you're not going to believe this. I just bought a free pilot training.